In the previous video, we found the midpoint between A and B by finding the halfway point between the x values in A and B, that would be halfway along this line, and finding the midpoint between uh, the y values of A and B, that would be halfway along this line, and that gave us the, the midpoint. In this video, we're interested in finding the length of this segment from A to B. What we're going to need to do then is find out the length from A to C and the length from B to C. Okay, now that's easy. We'll just have to take the x value of A minus the x value of C. Now we can see here that that length is going to be 3, but let's do the calculation here anyway. Let's take the x value of the one that's the furthest out in the positive direction minus the x value of, well in fact we could actually find just the x value of b because the x value of b and the x value of c are the same thing. Okay, so that particular amount, notice that it does a calculation, it tells us that value is going to be f and it's going to be a length of 3. Okay, now let's find the, the distance from, from b to c that will be the y value of b minus the y value of a. I'm going to take b first because it's the most positive, the y value of b minus the y value of a. Of a. Okay, And that distance is 2. It goes from 1 up to 3, and so that distance is in fact 2. Now, we can find this length by using the Pythagorean Theorem because we can look at the square root of, that's the symbol for square root there, of this length, remember that was the variable f here, f um, squared plus, y, plus uh, g squared. So that length from here to here is going to be a 3.61. Let's see if that seems reasonable. Uh, just kind of with your fingers, look at a length of, uh, of 3. There's 1, 2, 3. From a negative 2 to 1 would be a length of 3. And sure enough, this is a little bit longer than that. 3.61 seems pretty reasonable in that case. Okay, we'll look at a couple other ideas here in just a second. 